Talking about watercolor technique and watercolor painting process is very easy. After you know how to mix all colors using the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And the next thing we're going to talk about how to apply the colors to the watercolor paper. And also we're going to learn how to take the color away from the watercolor paper to return it to be lighter areas. Then I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolor painting from the beginning to the end. The whole area, say, is this color, is dark red color. So how depends on how dark is the color. So you're going to decide on how much water you want to mix into the color, right? For example, over here, I'm going to put this color in here. So this color is called flat color because it's just one color all the way, right? So I'm going to make the colors a little bit different from one end to the other end. I'm going to mix in with this color. For example, I'm going to have this color on this side. And on the other side, I'm going to wash my brush and just leave it just the water and let this color coming in. And this is called gradient wash. Starting from one color, turn to the other color. And or you coming over here, like say, okay, I'm gonna do the dark blue color, like the, the Midsummer Night. Okay, I'm gonna have this color. Now I'm gonna get the color a little bit lighter. Just not adding more color, just adding water. I'll let go the color too. Now I get the, let the color lighter and lighter and keep coming down. This is a gradient wash from one color to the other color. And even at the, at the end, you also change it to the yellow color. And the yellow color, it can coming down to a little bit lighter and it come to a little bit purplish color. I don't know what, what is going on in the sky, but that could happen. So this is called gradient wash. From one color, go to the other color and change it. One more thing that I want to show to you is, it's called lifting up colors. It's actually pretty easy. You have the color over here, and I don't want the color, I want the color to be lighter, and that's, you can take the color out from the paper. Let's do this right here. And this is still very wet, right? So I'm gonna just clean my brush, make my brush like a, feel like a dusted. So like a take up the color from the paper. See that? That become lighter. Okay, this is wet. So this is called, when it's still wet, you can take up the color. Now what about when the color already dry? What we're gonna do? Like uh, the top over here, already dry. Can I also take up the color? Yes. Yeah, you can. But first, you're gonna go from one step to become two steps. One step is you have to wet it, lose the color, loosen the color in this area. And then you're gonna clean the brush and now lip up all the loose color. Like that. And you can do it either way. So this is a very, very special technique for watercolor. Most other medium, you just mix a lighter color and just cover it. But watercolor, we don't want to cover by the white color. We take the color out. Keep it simple. I already drew the pencil line for the horse on the watercolor paper. Next, I'm going to wash the entire background first before I take out the color for the shape of the horse. What kind of background we want it to be? The four is coming, so we're going to make the four color for that, right? Let's see. And the top over here maybe have a little bit blue like this in the sky, in a little gap like this. Now is what we're going to do. Now we're going to do, we're going to make a really, really 
darker orange color and even brown color. Take the yellow color from here. And maybe it'll make it a little darker, like that. Here we go. Now we're going to have this color. You see that? When it's wet, the color push into the wet color. Like this. Okay. So we have some way have a little bit more. Some way have uh, less. So keep it a little bit dynamic. So we're going to keep that color coming down. Maybe you're going to change the color a little bit. Maybe uh, some trees, it has a little bit more yellow color over here. Okay, like this. Okay, use your imagination. And getting a good reference is also important too. And now coming down to the ground, we're going to have a little bit more brown colors. So I'm going to need to mix with a little blue color. Now a little bit darker. Like this. Now it's on the ground. Now on the ground still have a little bit kind of um, a greenish, brown greenish, but it's probably a good idea to have a little bit more like a little cooler colors, maybe this kind of color. Okay, here we go. Like uh, on the ground. Now at the front, we're going to give it a little bit green, but like a dirty green is not like in the spring, that kind of green was this really yellow, uh, yellow green. So this kind of green, have a little bit, still have a little bit on the ground, like this. Okay, now we want to think about, should we somewhere else, somewhere over here, need to be a little bit darker? We probably want the, the face to be pop up a little more, so in this case, if this light color next to a very dark color, and that color would be darker, right? Uh, would be more contrast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this darker color right next to it. OK, maybe a little shadow on the ground over here, like this. OK, this is good. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a little splash. Maybe even more somewhere. A little soft. Maybe too much. But I just can't stop it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're going to take up the colors. And first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take up the color with the big brush. So because there's a lot more here, right? It's easier to take up the color. Now I'm going to make the brush as little water as possible. I'm going to just squeeze it. But what about you're going to use like a totally dry brush, like a dry without any water. It won't work because the water needs some wet in between in order to connect with the wet, right? So let's do it like this. Now it's good. Now here we go. I already did the pencil drawing. So I already know where the area is supposed to be. Now let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the color. And let's see the top. Now quickly, I'm going to just take out the biggest, biggest shape, and I'm going to use the, my round brush to uh, do the smaller shape. Now you're going to see when everything finish. Like this. Just keep, lift up the color. Now, it's the here and the, on the back.
Okay, where's the face? Now getting to the face. Now coming down to the chest. Coming to the lick. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do the lick at the front to take up the color. And taking over here and then going up, going to this lick. Now that's good. Now I'm going to use my uh, round brush. Okay. I'm going to take up those excess paint that already accumulate at the bottom. I'm going to take this out because it accumulates together and eventually it's going to push back to the area on the top. So like this. Okay. Now I'm going to continue. Make the edge a little sharper. Make the shape a little bit better. Like right here. Look at the face. And the nose and the mouth right here. And the top over here has the hair. <laughs> this. Thank you. Clean this, take this out. And basically the horse still look fine. And here come our little and the skirt, the horse face. And the back, we're doing the mane. Okay, now we're gonna on the back over here I wanna be have a little softer, so I'm gonna have those very blur over. And now we come to, now I see over here, right here. Take the whole area out and coming down here. Okay, now what next I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the paper dry by using uh, a clean paper towel. Now the area of the horse already returned to a light shape. Next, I'm gonna put some shadow shapes to suggest the forms of the horse. I'm gonna use my Round brush, now I'm gonna mix, but the color doesn't need to be really dark, and actually this is a great, good color, like a little gray colors. And I'm gonna working on the tummy first, right here. Maybe I have a little bit brighter blue colors, like this. Now I have some little shadow. And over here too, there's some shadow on this side. On the back, the top of the back, it has a little more light. 
So keep a little bit blue colors right here. So let's keep looking at your reference. So making a decision. And I'm gonna give a little bit down here. I'm gonna give a little bit darker later. And now coming here and has the light, the light area. Just get the blue color. They have a little bit more contrast. And now on this side, like this. And on this side, I also have the shadows. I have a little light side. Uh, look at the face. Paint the shadow side, and over here on this side is the shadow side. Without the light and the shadow side, you cannot actually see the form, which is the three-dimensional form. And coming here like this, and the nose over here, and a little bit on the ear, and a little bit on the ear. Now coming down here, Maybe a little bit of purple colors under here. And now see the chest area right here. So all you're seeing is the light side and the shadow side. So there's a little light shape over here. One is a light shape, leave it. One is a dark shape, paint on it. Like this, and the shadow side. Okay, and under here a little bit darker. Okay, and the back has a little light, and the the bottom over here a little bit darker. Like this, and the same thing over here, a little bit darker. If the environment, the lighting is warm, the shadow will be cool. Okay, now come back over here. I want this even darker. And now come to the uh, tail. And I'm gonna make this a little warmer too, coming to like this. Okay, that actually interesting. Now come back to, oh, this over here, I can just make it even bigger. Make it, open it up a little bit more here. Uh, make the, the main to be a little bit softer. So, like this. That's the suggestions. I can even open up a little bit more over here. between the leg and the tummy, even darker. You see that? Okay, that a little bit darker. A little bit, like that. Okay, now is the nose. I wanna give a little bit, the outside, a little bit darker. So I wanna give a, even a little bit more contrast. So what I want to do is, Okay, what I want to do, I'm going to start over here and give it a little, add a little darker background and move a little like this. Here you go. And then I can make more contrast. Okay, now that's good. The catch the shadow on the ground. So I'm gonna make a little catch the shadow on the ground by mix a little bit darker color here. All right? Because it's supposed to be have catch the shadow. But it may not be that clear. I can make it a little softer. And outside over here, I can make that in a little bit. Hopefully through this video, you would have a different perceptions. 
for watercolor painting. It's pretty easy. I hope you have fun with watercolor painting. Keep on painting. If you'd like to join us to our Enjoying Our Artists community, uh, you can see the support link at the end of this video. Thank you. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in my next lesson.